Hi everyone, today we're going to study applications of quadratic equations. When we say applications, we refer to word problem. So how to solve word problem involving a quadratic equation? We have here five steps. Step one, read the problem and identify what is required. Step 2. Represent the required as a variable and translate the condition into an e equation. Step 3. Solve the equation. Step 4. Check the answer if it satisfies the condition of the problem. Step 5. Write the answer in a sentence. Let us have example 1. The product of two consecutive odd integers is 195. Find the integers. In step 1, let us read the problem and identify what is required. In here, the required is two consecutive odd integers. As an example of consecutive odd integers, here we have 5 and 7. Both are odd integers and they are consecutive. In step 2, let us represent the required as a variable and translate the condition into an equation. We let n to be the first odd integer and then the n plus 2 to be the second odd integer. If you look at our example of consecutive odd integers, the gap between the first odd integer 5 and the second odd integer 7 is 2. That is why with respect to the first odd integer, we write here n plus 2 to represent the second odd integer. Now, the problem says the product of the two numbers, so we are going to multiply the first odd integer n times the second odd integer n plus 2 and this is equal to the product 195. And step 3, we will solve the equation. So the n will be multiplied to the binomial n plus 2. So n times n will be n square. n times the 2 is positive 2n. The 195 on the right side is transposed on the left side and the sign is changed from positive on the right it becomes negative now when transposed on the left and this is now equal to zero our equation now is in standard form of a quadratic equation now we will write the quadratic formula but this is about x since our variable used here is n we can change the x into n. And then we will collect the corresponding a, b, and c values. The a is the coefficient of n square, and that is 1. The b is the coefficient of the n, that is positive 2. And the constant c is negative 195. Then we will substitute these three values. So this is now negative of the b and that is 2 plus or minus the big square root. The b square is now the square of 2 minus the constant 4 times a and it's now changed into 1. Then times c and the c is changed into negative 195 
all over 2a 2 times 1 then we will simplify further the negative of this value 2 is now negative 2 plus or minus the big square root 2 square is 4 and then this negative 4 times 1 times negative 195 equals positive 780 all over 2 times 1 is 2 and then 4 plus 780 will be 784 this is square root of 784 can be simplified and that is 28 and from this point we are going to split the plus and minus sign so we will have two values for n the n sub 1 and that is negative 2 plus the 28 all over 2 and the n sub 2 now using the negative sign negative 2 minus 28 all over 2 to simplify n sub 1 this negative 2 plus 28 equals 26 over 2 and this is equal to 13 for the n sub 2 the negative 2 minus 28 is negative 30 all over 2 equals negative 15 take note that the n sub 1 and n sub 2 both represent the first odd integer thus there are two possible answers the answer one when we have the n sub 1 here as equal to 13 that is the first odd integer we can compute the second odd integer using our n plus 2 and that is equal to 15 so our first answer 13 and 15 for answer number 2 we will use the n sub 2 the value is negative 15 that is the first odd integer so the second odd integer will be n plus 2 and that is negative 15 plus positive 2 that is equal to negative 13 so the second answer the second pair is negative 15 and negative 13 for step 4 let us check the answer if it satisfies the condition of the problem for the answer number 1 the first pair is 13 and 15 both are odd integers and they are consecutive if we multiply 13 and 15 we will get positive 195 so answer 1 is correct for answer number 2 our answer here is negative 15 and negative 13 both are odd integers and they are consecutive if we multiply negative 15 times negative 13 the product is positive 195 so this answer here satisfies the condition of the problem so both answers are correct so step 5 we're going to write the answer in a sentence so this is the answer the two consecutive odd integers whose product is 195 are 13 15 and negative 13 negative 15 and this is our final answer let us have example 2 a rectangular garden has an area 15 square feet the length of the garden is 2 feet more than the width find the length and width of the garden in step 1 we read the problem and identify what is required in here the required is 
the length and width of the garden. Step 2, we will represent the required as a variable and translate the condition into an equation. For geometry problem like this, we will draw the figure. The problem is about a rectangular garden. So we have a rectangle here and we will assign values L for the length of the garden, W for the width of the garden. Next, the area of this rectangular garden is length times width. Another condition of the problem is the length of the garden is 2 feet more than the width. So our equation here, we write L equals W plus 2. Area of the rectangular garden is 15 square feet. So we put here area equals 15. We will use the formula A equals L times W. Then we will substitute the values. The value of A or the area is 15. So we change that A into 15. The L is equal to the W plus 2. We will substitute this value for the L. And then times the W, we copy the W here. And step 3, we will solve the equation. Means, this W I'm going to multiply to the binomial W plus 2. So, W times W is W square. And W times 2 is positive 2W. Two the 15, we transpose it the sign will change into negative 15. So, in here, it is now in standard form of a quadratic equation. But since we are familiar that the zero is on the right, we can just simply interchange the right side and the left side. There is no issue on that. The next is, we're going to write our quadratic formula. Since we are using the variable w, we will put here w. Then we will collect the values of a, b, and c. The a is the coefficient of w square, that is 1. The b is the coefficient of the w here, and that is 2. And the c is the constant, negative 15. Using these values and substitute to our quadratic formula, the negative of B is now the negative of 2 plus or minus the big square root. The B square is now 2 square minus constant 4 times A. A is now changed into 1 times C. The C is equal to negative 15. Then all over 2A. 2 times 1. Then we will continue to simplify. This negative of 2 is now negative 2. Plus or minus the square root of 2 square is 2. Then we multiply negative 4 times 1 times negative 15, we will have this positive 60. All over 2 times 1 is 2. Then 4 plus 60, we can simplify this further into 64. And we know that the square root of 64 can be simplified into 8. At this point, we are now to split the plus and minus in here, we have the W sub 1 and W sub 2. For W sub 1, we will use the positive sign. So negative 2 plus 8 over 2. For the W sub 2, we will use the negative sign. Negative 2 minus 8 over 2. And we will simplify further. For the W sub 1, 
negative 2 plus 8 is positive 6 over 2, and this is equal to positive 3. For the W sub 2, negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10 all over 2, and this is equal to negative 5. Take note that our W sub 1 and W sub 2 represent the width, this width of the garden. However, width cannot be negative. So from here, the value of negative 5 is not acceptable. So we will only consider the value of width as positive 3. It means our answer is positive 3. And for the length, we will just use our relation that W plus 2. And that is equal to 5. We don't forget to write the unit. The width is 3 feet. The length is 5 feet. Now for step 4, we will check the answer if it satisfies the condition of the problem. It says here the garden has an area of 15 square feet. Our formula for the area is length times width. If I multiply the width, the number 3, times the length, which is 5, it is equal to 15 square feet. The first condition here is met. The second condition, the length of the garden is 2 feet more than the width. The length is 5 feet. The width is 3 feet. So the length is 2 feet more than the width. The second condition here is also satisfied. So step 5, we will simply write the answer in a sentence. The length and width of the garden is 5 feet and 3 feet respectively. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.